welcome you into headquarter three co. It's always a pleasure to see young, bright, smiling children who are either going away for a tour or for a bike rally, car rallies, or coming back from the tour. We consider ourselves to be rather fortunate that we were able to get you together from your schools and send you out from your state to showcase the vibrant culture and various states of the great nation called India. I'm sure that if it were not for the NIT, I don't think many of you would have been able to explore such rich and cultural diversity of our country. And the location also selected Gujarat, which also happens to be the state from where our Prime Minister comes, in Vendra Modi. A state which he took a different level of development before he became the Prime Minister. Now you have gone and seen for yourself as to how Gujarat is. <coughs> I understand that the northeastern states have not seen that much of development which is required in the last 75 years. But things are looking up in a big way. Things have changed. But we are also cognizant of the fact that there is a problem for the last about seven to eight months in money. <coughs> that problem is carrying on for a number of decades. But we don't want the present generation to carry that problem forward. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. We will get nothing from these problems. You cannot <coughs> inherit these legacies, conflicts in today's world. Today's world is all about education, good healthcare, infrastructure development, jobs, technology, to create a very conducive and a good world for all of us, where everybody can prosper. You can aim big, dream big and fulfill your dreams in a very peaceful and congenial environment. If it is all about fighting gun culture, drug culture, killing each other, we are going back in time to the Stone Age, which I don't think today's children want that. We all want peace and prosperity. So whatever you have gathered in these two weeks, you have seen the other parts of the country. We are a big, huge nation with such rich culture, traditions, heritage, potential. If we are able to overcome these problems that we have, we can go a long way to become a world power. And that world power can only be achieved in case the children of today who are the future of the country for tomorrow they dream big and do everything possible to ensure that we are able to reach that level where the other countries like America, China, they have reached, okay, the Western world. I am also very happy that one of the groups out of 25, 14 were girls. That's again a very good, good combination. I want you to become brand ambassadors of not only Indian Army Assam Rifle but also to the respective areas. I'm sure you must have captured beautiful moments on your mobile phones or the units will be giving you some kind of photographs or CDs. Proliferate that in your groups. Share your experience with others. I request the teachers also that when the schools open, please let them interact with others. And I request the units which conducted this beautiful tours to also make some about five, six minutes of movie covering both the photographs and the videos, which we can proliferate on the social media. Let the messaging be clear that this is what together Indian Army, Assam Rifles and the children of Manipur are doing when we are showcasing the other states to you. I am also very happy that you were able to celebrate Christmas wherever <coughs> you are during that time because that is one festival that you would have missed being away from home, but I am sure the people would have made you very comfortable. I am also very happy that you met a lot of senior dignitaries from the uniformed forces and also from the civil. 
as we step in after another two days into the new year i hope and pray that all of you grow up to be responsible citizens of this country make your family your state proud of whatever you do take away the beautiful lesson that you have learned from this tour i'm sure this will change this will change your life in a way that you know how the other states what they are doing your exposure to their way of living their region their culture will also empower you in the days ahead so on behalf of all of us in uniform today i wish you and your families all the very best for 2024 god bless jai hind kalakunda we also learned about the historical relevance of the station as the air force station was built by the british for the royal indian air force during world war 2 I also got the opportunity to visit INS Sumitra, Sumitra, the fourth and last Surya class patrol vessel of the Indian Navy, designed and constructed by <coughs> Goa Shipyard Limited. On the next day, we also got the opportunity to explore new market and shopping mall. On the 25th December, we celebrated Christmas at Saint Paul Cathedral Church. followed by lunch at hotel ITC Sona and we visited Victoria Memorial and went to interact honorable governors of West Bengal and Goa and also we also got a chance to interact with officers at headquarters eastern command and uh, various institution of national significance lastly i should say that we enjoyed this journey and at the same time we have learned and explored many places Moreover it also motivates us in our career. On behalf of all the students, I re- uh, I really thank NIT team and 24 Awesome Rifles for giving us this opportunity. May this almighty may the almighty God bless this unit. Thank you. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Jio TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.